Okay, so what we're doing here, we're putting some base coats on our Wild West buildings. These are all, the glue's all nice and dry now. And um, I'm just gonna get a basic color on them so that they're not, uh, you know, just raw. And I'm doing this now before I put the details on just because I'm in this location and I have to put the details on in a different location. So when I put the details on, we'll, we'll fix all that in paint afterwards. So I just did this one here, and the color I used is Seaside Rust-Oleum. And um, we've used several different techniques here, and I'm gonna see which one works out the best. Whichever one we use will be the best because um, we can fix anything, even if it's a mistake. We can do it over. Uh, these two, the big buildings, the hero buildings, we're going to be doing in um, this Rust-Oleum here. It's just called brown. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that color before, but it's uh, brown. That's all it says. It's just plain old brown. And then over here on these two guys right here, um, these are just two clone. These are the little guys, and we're going to use a wood stain here. Um, this is Minwax, oh look, I got it on my hand already. Minwax Golden Oak. This was my daddy's from the 80s. Still good, no problem. So uh, let me just adjust the camera. We'll do the, since we're already dirty, we'll do those first. Let's zoom in a little tight here. A little tight. And we'll, uh, get that going here let's uh already painted this one it's so hot out here this this paint's already dry and uh that one has that times two coating stuff so man it's just like whoop whoop look at these split and that sucker was painted and uh we're gonna get these guys right here Now this is a this is an oil based. It's going to take a minute for this stuff to uh, really dry. Uh, so we're doing this in stages, and it's going to take a couple days for this to really soak in and get comfortable with where it's at. It will dry eventually, but this stuff is stinky. Don't put this stuff in your house unless you really wanna. Ah, come on, get off there. Oh, come on, piece of trash. Um, unless you want your house to smell like wood stain, which is not the worst smell in the world, for sure. Building number one. Getting in that crack is kind of a little difficult here. I have to use a little extra to get that crack soaked in. Get around the edge. I'm doing the bottoms, you don't have to do the bottoms. You know. Not a big deal. If you can, when you can, you want to go with the green. I say as I immediately go against the green. Now, typically, this wood grain looks amazing, but it's not going to look great with this because this is supposed to be a different size. So we don't really necessarily need it. Now, when you do this, don't smack it because you'll go... Look at all of your clothes. You want to kind of thump that down gently with a rubber mallet. And we're going to wipe off any excess here so it doesn't pull up. And it will make it look, and it will get sticky if you make, if you let, allow it to pull up. It, it can get sticky. And even when you paint over it, it'll still be sticky. Even. 
for a very, very long time. I'm not saying forever, for a really super long time. Not there. Then we have our, there's a front and a back on those. Now we'll move on to our, our brown. Let's readjust here. And we're gonna do our brown. Now go ahead and do the backside first, just in case you screw it up. You know you're screwing it up. Let's see how this is gonna look. There's a lot of these handrails, which is gonna give us a little bit of a dimensional problems, possibly. Ah, you gotta get up underneath the cable. That is very thick. I haven't decided whether I want to do the roofs yet or not. If I want to do them black. Let's go ahead and do them. We can pan black later. I gotta get down inside there and then up underneath. Lots of awkward angles to take care of. There we go. This times two coating is a little thick, you know. It's not dripping yet, but I'm moving real fast and it, it wants to drip. Some of it wants to drip because of the wood grain on it. But already we're starting to look better. Now this railing here and any of these window detailings, we're gonna pick out with a different color just to give some contrast. So we're not, we're getting our money's worth out of our detail that um, we prepaid for for a pre-made building. So a generic brown building is not very interesting. And hopefully I can print up the signs for the front faces in color. I have them in black and white, but they look like, they don't look the best. Uh, hopefully I can get my hold of a color printer. So there we go. We got our base coats on all of our buildings and I'll see you next time.